I am Dilima and we have finally completed recovering our Facebook page and YouTube channel and I hope it is secure and safe now. So in today's tutorial friends, we are going to make this beautiful, colorful, shimmery and lusty looking resin tray. The complete tray is made out of resin. Even the handles are made of resin. In the center, I have kept it transparent, filling it up with some gold foil, which goes perfectly with this shimmering look. I also love the handles which are made out of resin. So friends, do watch the complete video to make this beautiful resin tray yourself at home. All the materials bought to make this resin tray are bought from Craftify Z, which has a complete supply of all types of resin art material. So do check out her Facebook page and you can directly message her to buy any of the resin art materials you like to buy. So let's check out all the materials now. To make a resin tray, there are two to three important things we need. First is a resin. So for resin, we are going to use a resin and hardener from Lepox. This is a packaging of half kg for hardener and one kg for resin. And it costs very less as compared to any other branded resins. Next, we are going to need resin colors. So for colors, nowadays there are a variety of pigments and resin colors available. You can buy resin colors, you can buy metallic resin pigments like these ones which add a translucent effect to the resin. You can also add alcohol ink, you can also use powdered pigments like this one or sometimes just use the resin pigments which are best for resin. Next, for tray, we are going to use a resin tray mold. It does come in two different sizes. This time I have bought 18 to 10 inch. I also have a 16 inch tray, which we will be using in our next DIY. Other than that, you can also buy this kind of tray handle resin mold. So you can not only make countless resin trays using this mold, but you can also make countless handles for your resin trays using this handle mold. Other than that, we are going to need few paper cups, few ice cream sticks, few rubber hand gloves, a face mask, a butane torch for popping out the bubbles and the most important thing is this electronic scale which we need to measure our resin. All the materials I am using for this DIY will be listed in the description box below from where you can buy them online. So let's start the DIY now friends. First, we'll start by measuring resin and hardener according to the given quantity on your electronic scale and bring it to zero scale. Then start adding 100 grams of resin. So here I'm using the Lepox resin. I'm going to directly add 100 grams in my cup. I'll reduce it to 100. Okay, so here I've got exactly 100 grams of resin. Next, we have to measure hardener. So you can either measure hardener in a separate cup or you can gently pour hardener step by step into the resin. For this, I just make a gentle hole on the top of the cap so I don't pour a lot. I'm going to add 50 grams of hardener. So in all, it should be 150. Okay, so when you come near to 50, start gently pouring the resin. Okay, so here we have got exactly 150 grams. So we'll stop pouring off the tearing scale. Keep it aside. Wear your hand gloves as soon as we have poured the resin or you are starting to pour the resin. And now, using an ice cream stick, give it a very nice mix till at least 5 minutes. As you are mixing a very large quantity of resin, make sure that you don't drip and mix the resin very well. Take it from all the sides and keep mixing it till at least 5 minutes. So now in the same way, I have prepared 2 cups of resin, each holding 1.5 grams of resin in it. With that, we have to use multiple cups like this and multiple ice cream sticks. For the center, I'm planning to add a little bit of gold foil. So for that, you need to add gold foil in a cup like this. 
and you have to cut them down in small tiny pieces so here i'm using a palette knife to actually break and cut all the gold foil this is how you easily get small pieces of gold foil so first of all we're going to pour the resin in two different steps first of all i'm going to make a transparent layer of resin so this is going to be my first batch which will include a little bit of gold foil, clear resin, plus some translucent resin color. Let's mix all the gold foil. Yes, this is how it looks. I just added one single sheet of gold foil and this is how beautiful it looks. Now for these two, I'm going to add powdered pigments which gives a translucent effect. I'm going to add this much a lot of pink and then a lot of blue let me mix and show you how they look you have to mix all the pigments very very well okay so this is how they look they are transparent jelly kind of texture this is my tray this is how it looks make sure that your tray is completely clear and clean and then i'll start pouring a layer of clear resin right here gold foil exactly in the center it really looks very beautiful here we have one more cup of clear resin so don't be just afraid and let it pour and spread as much as it wants I'm just spreading out the resins a little bit by bit. Here I have a very beautiful blend of blue. Then I'm going to pour pink. And in the same cups, I'm going to make a little bit of darker colors of pink, blue and I think I need to mix a little bit of gold okay so now in the same cups I have added some blue resin color some metallic pink resin color and some gold pigments mix them very well and now they are absolutely ready to be poured so at a time just add a little quantity okay blue is done just spread out the blue After blue, I'm going to add a little bit of pink everywhere. So I think you most probably would know that when pink and blue mixes, they give you a purple tint. And that's something I'm expecting in this tray. Same lines I'm going to make with gold also. So now this is how it looks. I'm very much satisfied with the entire process. So I'm going to do one last thing which is to add a lot and lot of clear resin exactly in this center place so that the gold foils are on place and they still look transparent. in all it looks fine and now the one last and final step we need to do is to pop out all the bubbles from the top for that I'm using a gas torch light it and just from one side gently start popping out all the bubbles this is a very very simple quick and easy step to do and Finally, this is how our resin tray will look when it will get dry if you don't disturb it in between process. To make the handles, you can either pour clear resin in this handle tray or you can simply place the metal handles on the side. Now this is how our resin tray looks after 12 hours and this is the perfect time to place the resin handles we made out of mold. I kept them clear and this is how they look. 
on the top they do have a little unfinished touch but you can easily smooth it using a file or using a sandpaper so now i'm going to exactly place the tray handles where they should be Take a little more inside i'll use a scale just to measure the linearity i think they are perfect they're perfectly placed and then I have finally mixed again total 150 ml of clear resin. This is how it looks. I'll start by pouring the resin on the tray first. Take it all around and also pour it on the handle in this way. The handle has a shape of its own. I don't want there to be any droplets. Pour out the resin completely out of cup so this is the second layer of resin which is just the clear resin and now using the spatula spread this clear resin all around the tray equally clean the bottom of the handle if there are any droplets Just making sure that everything is smooth. Okay, because if the handles are not like completely dry or absolutely clean, they will look like some droplets. And yes, I think I have cleared everything. So now it's time to do the last step, which is to pop out all the bubbles if there are any and if there are in case any bubbles. So this is how clean and clear it looks. We will let it get dry from now, more 24 hours. And then I'll show you how does our tray looks finally, okay? Now finally, after 24 hours, this is how our resin tray looks. The resin handles are completely fixed with resin tray. You can simply touch at one corner and check whether the complete resin has got cured. And now I'm going to take out the silicone mold from each side. So for that, start from one side and gently separate the mold from the resin tray in this way. First, separate the corners, all the corners so that this resin tray becomes a little free. Now after freeing all the sides, I'll gently start removing separating the tray from the mold and this way from one side gently start peeling it off and here we have our resin tray so now immediately cover your resin tray with a clean paper and pack it up so that your resin tray does not stick any kind of pollutants or any cat hair just like i have so for this kind of molds, I take this precaution to always wrap them up using a paper and then pack it in a secure place. And now finally, this is how our resin tray looks. In the center, it is transparent and at the sides, it has this beautiful shining shimmery effect of the resin metallic colors. You can also turn it out and take a peek look. You can clearly see this beautiful metallic gel colors flowing through the tray. So now friends, there is just one last step which I want to show you so that you take all the precautions while using or when you are going to make the resin tray and sell them. This is a small nail file and using this nail file you have to simply file if there are any sharp edges of resin. For example this one piece here is a little sharp edge so I'll just force it. You have to do it in an angle so that you're not touching the resin tray but just that one uplifted piece. You can also continue the same sanding part on all of the resin tray edge so that any of the part won't cut a delicate hand you see it's very easy to make those sharp edges blunt once you do it just clean the edges it will be just 
as you took it out of the tray the only difference will be that the edges won't be sharp enough to cut your hand or harm anyone just use a small file like this one and go all around the tray clean out all the sharp edges After cleaning all the edges, it just looks the same but it feels much more smoother when you touch the edges and you have less chances of cutting your hand in any case. It is very easy to hold and lift up because of the resin handles. It looks absolutely beautiful. Now just to highlight, you can use color sharpie. I do have three metallic color sharpie. This is silver, gold and bronze. According to the color of your tray, you can simply color the edges or the sides of the tray using sharpies. These are permanent markers so they won't wear off or get washed off. This time I'm just going to simply line out the edges in this way so this will give a metallic highlight to the entire tray you can also do it on the sides now friends our resin tray is finally completed it is dry and just look at the center where we filled it with some gold foil it looks so amazing such shimmering and glamorous look i absolutely love it and as we come out just take a look at all the beautiful colors from the sides they have mixed up the entire tray looks so so amazing this was my first try to make a complete resin tray but i absolutely love what we have made and look at the handles they are so cute it absolutely gives it such a watery effect as if everything is made on glass or out of glass i just love the entire resin effect and friends one of the most asked questions can we wash it yes you can wash it you can use it any way you like and if you use it properly it can be a lifelong thing just look at all the shimmery beautiful coloring effect we have got i absolutely love it and i think i'm definitely going to make next resin tray soon because the resin i bought is definitely enough for more at least two trays so in all using 1.5 liters of resin i can at least make three resin trays so do check out her facebook page if you want to buy the same resin and art pigments for your resin art and do tell me in the comments below friends what do you think about this beautiful and luscious resin tray we made so do give it a try make it yourself and do tell me in the comments below what do you think about this beautiful glamorous and lusty resin tray we made and if you do like my videos friends please do like share and subscribe my channel thank you for watching